Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Portugal. We've got ourselves some juicy, juicy coastal cities, and we're building a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not really sure, though, how we actually plan to win this game. Like, we're doing fine, and we've got a lot of potential for expansion and control and earning and all that sort of stuff, but, like, how do we actually win this game? That's an interesting question. It's one that I'm nowhere near ready to answer. How does Nubia feel about me? Nubia actually feels fine about me, so I can get mutual open borders with them and potentially go place some nows inside their land. We also met Scotland, we're up to 26 trade routes, quite respectable, and the sacred salty seas are being spread. Everyone wants to buy my coal, but I'm going to save it for my own coal power plant. We do have a lot of cash in the bank. And we do have natural history going. We finished the library in Porto. This city has amazing production. I do think a navigation skill would be brilliant in here. It would give me a huge supply of science. We could go for the Diplo victory. Let's have a little bit of a think about that. We're at six diplomatic victory points. If we got the Statue of Liberty, we would go up to 10. We do have pagodas for diplomatic favor. You know what? Let's do the Diplo victory. I'm going to go navigation school. Oh, Statue of Liberty would have to crush something I don't want to crush. Let me have a look here. I think I'll go for the 16 turn. Statue of Liberty in my capital, and we'll go for the Diplo win. Although it's a really big game, I don't know, can I get a Diplo win? With this many players voting against me to steal my points. Also, I'm already behind two diplomatic victory points, which means it would be tough. Sweden isn't in the game either, so I can't get the extra Diplo victory points. You know what, I'm not gonna go for the Diplo victory here. I think it is just gonna be a standard old science victory. That's gonna be how we win the game, but it's more about the journey, not the destination. Let's go ahead and grab the Outlaw Cove here. Amenities, trade routes, all that good stuff. Speaking in Garda, we do now have access to the shipyard. That's a plus eight production shipyard as well as a bunch of other bonuses. So we will go ahead and buy that shipyard, bringing this city up to a healthy 35 production instantaneously overnight, transforming it into a badass. We will place the waterfront and the Krampus here. I will go for the waterfront first because it's a little bit more fun. We've got the harbor here in Bracaga. I'm going to go ahead and buy the Outlaw Cove and then buy the shipyard in here because that will just absolutely revolutionize this city. And then we'll do the same thing. We go for the waterfront. We have Zhang Qian. I don't know what he's doing with a settler over here. It's making me nervous. I should totally settle for all of this sugar here. Let's have a think. Oh yeah, I like settling on this antiquity site because if I settle right there, I have both a really good harbor and a decent couple of other cities we can make use of here. So I like this. It also leaves open some potential other cities. This works fine. In Avora, I will go ahead and buy the settler. I could get the boardwalk. Plus one culture, plus one faith on all adjacent tiles. Let's do it. Boom. Oh man, it even boosts. Wow. Okay. So the boardwalk actually boosts land tiles as well. I think it's tourism. This could be a tourism victory. I don't know yet. I will go ahead and purchase a settler in here and send it over there. I do have two envoys. If I send one here, it did create the tile. And if I send another one, ugh, it got the wrong tile. But I can finally start placing my feitorias, the feitorias. All right, water mill can put it in Lisbon. We do have great works in here. We could get an art museum and buy more great works. We could build the arsenal if we so wanted to. We never built the waterfront in here. I do like the idea of building the art museum, although maybe the archaeological museum is better. Let's go for archaeological. I think that suits my game plan a little bit better, particularly if I'm able to get my hands on Mary Leakey. We do have the library in here. We could get a theater square. Let's go for that theater square. I think that's huge. You don't have a whole lot of coastal cities, so I kind of just want the boardwalk, but I would have to buy both. What if I buy the breakwater and then I buy the boardwalk? Boom. You know what? That's pretty damn good. That's three really highly boosted tiles. Loving it. Navigation school completed here in Braga. That means I can focus on one of two things. I can get more traders. I can get more settlers. I can get more builders. I don't have the builder card plugged in right now, so builders don't seem good. Settlers might be better or honestly building traders slash builders. A trader costs me 380 gold or five turns of production in here. I'll just spend five turns of production and then get started on a noob district. Evora to Mabumbi is worth 45. Well, Mabumbi excited at the thought of making that much money. I do definitely need to consider actually producing now at some point. Nice little one tile island that we could settle. Kind of wishful. 
We'll drop a Fate Toria in here in Nuri. Try to make our trade feel a little bit better. Plus two era score in here. We're sending envoys. I don't think I'm going to send them to Kalania anymore. I think it'd be good to start building up my great scientist and my maritime relationships. Let's have a look. Science, 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 science. Yeah, I think it would be good to go up to universe. Plus two in every university and consulate. And then plus one food in every lighthouse would be good with Ugarit. Start building this up. I like the idea of getting to three envoys in there too. My current envoy rate is rather slow, but I do actually have my diplomatic quarter at long last. All right, we're going to trade with Lima. That's worth 37 gold plus 18 culture per turn. And then we'll trade with Hormuz as well, because it's worth 36 gold and 18 culture per turn. The 18 culture per turn is kind of insane, actually. We're waiting for conservation. Our culture per turn is redonkulous. Great spot for a city. I think I'm going to invest quite a bit in this, particularly to the yoink those two sea resources. And also this sea resource over here because if I buy all those sea resources and then improve them it puts me in really really strong position with this city oh nice we found a unit to kill there's 25 gold love that this pirate ship is still generating me serious revenue in terms of great people earning we can grab ourselves another great explorer 300 signs for each reef tile here or adjacent it's pretty handy got the navigation school in Porto I do think it would be good for us to get the breakwater it's a lot of food which would pump a lot of growth into this city so let's grab Grab that breakwater. We'll grab. So we got the outlaw cove in here. I'm going to purchase the shipyard, drop the waterfront, and slowly work on that for growth. Somehow I lost suzerainty of Kabul. I'll need to get that back. No, Kumasi I lost. Okay. I am getting envoys. Okay. Where can I get an envoy? Um, mm, Not good. What's Kabul's mission? Let's actually look at city state missions. Construct an arsenal, holy site, and entertainment complex. Eureka for machinery. I think that's a pretty easy one, is to just get a lumber mill. Some of these are a little harder. Let's do a search for reefs. We want to look for a cluster of three. If we can get three all within a tile of each other, I can get two pretty easily, but if I, I want a three, if I can get a three, I'd be happy. Two is easy enough, like there's plenty of twos around. Okay, I did a little, little bit of scanning, and I'm not saying there are no threes, but I am saying I didn't see one. I didn't spot one. It's probable that they're like on screen right now, and I'm like not seeing them. But with this great explorer, I'm just going to take a two reef. But losing Kumasi actually crippled my culture per turn, which is not the vibe I was looking for. To put it lightly, coastal raid, get myself 30 gold, and clear that barb camp too. Ooh, we found Uluru. Oh my god, look at these fishing boats. The city was like settled a couple turns ago and it's already got a 4-3-3 three, three tile. It's like insane. Plus one error score for unlocking industrialization. That's really good. We have access to coal now. The coal power plant is definitely something we want to work on. I'm going to move you two tiles to the left and then promote you with barding so ranged units don't kill you as easy. Then... I mean, having railroads wouldn't be the worst, but it is a naval map, so we don't necessarily need the seaport. I'll quickly grab printing for the diplomatic visibility and the boost from great works of writing. The archaeological museum is completed in the capital. I do believe I had a mission to build an arsenal, but I'll go archaeologist first. Evora had some nice trade routes, but I kind of want all my trade routes to be in the capital because it's kind of more fun for me that way. Boom, there's a trader, there's a trader, there's a trader. We spent a whole bunch of gold on traders this turn. We'll get that gold going even higher. I have a genuinely absurd number of trade routes. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Nice, we got our first theater square. We had a starting adjacency of three or higher culture, which I believe was the theater square that we built over here in Sanaa. Now, we are going to quickly grab that amphitheater. We want to keep our options open when it comes to getting a tourism victory. I think it could be quite fun to get a tourism victory, even if it's not necessarily the way that we want to win the game. We do have a campus here in Avora. I am going to quickly grab that library because we want to get the navigation skill. It's an extremely good scaling building for my civilization and my empire. Let's keep the trade routes going to places like Shendu. I am going to prime primarily trade with city-states out of here because if we can get control of Kumasi again it'd be good but I'm not against trading with people like Buddha however Washington might be a better trade route yeah let's trade with Buddha see how things go I'll trade with Nuri all right we're gonna found a city over here on this there's plus two era score we did get a builder pop you into the water over here in the city of Vizu I will buy the workshop because that's plus three production and then in a couple of turns maybe a turn we'll get the factory and then we'll buy the coal power plant speaking of coal I actually don't know if we found extra coal. Yeah, it looks like we did. We got six coming from improvement, so I'm quite happy with the places I managed to build mines seems to have hit in coal. Let's get started on a harbor. I'll build my harbor here on the left. Which side is the better waterfront? I guess it, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. So the harbor goes on this side. Waterfront over here. 
it'll all make sense once we get everything in place. We're gonna go ahead and activate the effects of this guy. That'll get us machinery and then we'll one turn printing out of that. So he gave us 600 science for being adjacent to two reefs. So I wanted to get him to beside three reefs. 900 science is just better than 600 science. This is like pretty tautological, pretty straightforward maths. Right, we kill you, boom, we take that. One turn away from civic, conservation in particular. I think I will take banking and astronomy and maybe scientific theory. We'll kind of look in that direction. In Braga, I'm gonna move this trader over to Lisbon. You can place another district and there's not a bad district here. Or there's a, there's a not bad district here rather is what I was trying to say. So if I go to the waterfront, I do like the idea of placing it right here. Seems good. Get that waterfront going. Take you a little while to build it, but that's okay. Could do with some improved tiles in here. May want to consider national parkage. In fact, I am definitely going to consider a few national parks right now. Just going to consider how, how they all fit together neatly as part of the place. So I can fit one in here because they have to be uh, uh, four tiles in a diamond, all owned by the same city. And the city of Braga is in range to own all four of those tiles. Then I can do another four tile one over here. If I plant enough woods here, I think I should be able to get, I mean, I could get even another. I might be able to do a preserve right there. It's not the best preserve, but it could, you know, it could offer some bonuses. Could be fun. So if we look here, we've got a nice national park, national park, national park. So that looks good. There is a theoretical national park over here. If my capital city captures all these tiles, it's very unlikely. Having a little gander around to see if there's any like other viable national park locations. I really think those three are it. And those are worth like 15 amenities in total. All three of those, we will be building them and we will need builders over there. So probably a conservation. I'll switch over to maybe builder production of some kind. Let's use our gold in Viziu to get the factory and then next turn we'll get the coal power plant i will use a small chunk of my cash here to get these crabs online for this builder because i need another tile pretty soon the city will be pop two and we'll need to work more but yeah there's some there's some free kills over here for a little bit of cash and a few pickups here on the coasts you do have two shots let's go ahead and coastally raid that hey, a free military unit yoink it's a knight great thing is about these free military units is i can send them to go clear barb camps and make me even more money and they also just increase my military score making the ai less desirous of war with me so there's plus two error score we managed to grab ourselves conservation conservation gives us access to organic farming plus one golden plus one culture and farm minus one food we also get access to sanctuaries and naturalists as well as a bonus of three envoys and we can actually build the national parks and planting woods. So pretty big changes to our civilization there. I'm gonna take control of Kumasi because there's an absurd amount of culture that I'm missing out on. I'm gonna hold on to the rest of those. We are gonna come up here and change our government. It's quite hard for me to change my government without messing stuff up. I think we can drop Republican legacy just for a little while as we're getting public works builders out. So I'm probably gonna do anyone who can build a builder in like under five turns. I'm gonna queue one up. And this is just how we get a wave of builder charges without like across my empire and then we can swap that card out once we have like urbanization or nationalism or something and then these builders can be redirected you know there'll be five charge builders i can redirect them around my empire these builders have been hanging around for a while to pop down those forests first thing to do with my gold this turn is to get the coal power plant it's not a huge amount of boosted production but it is aoe production right it's so another three production in all the local cities. If we're still suzerain of Mexico, we can grab that suzerainty if we want, but I think I need to hold on to these envoys, or at the very least, I'll put another one into Kumasi at some point. But yeah, we need to, we, need to, we, we just, we can't afford to lose Kumasi. It's actually so much culture if we don't have them. One, two, I'll take the black spot branding iron. Dude, we are up to 30 trade routes. That is a little bit absurd. Plus three era score for navigate, circumnavigating the world. We do have a golden age secured and this will be an industrial era golden age, which is not the, it's, it's not an optimal golden age, but I am like steaming ahead at such a pace now, culturally. It's kind of hard for anyone to really stop me. I am not making the most tourism right now. That's actually Teddy, but I am making a decent amount considering the phase of the game that we're in. It's turn 162 and we nailed Kumasi. I am kind of okay with going to steam power here. Railroad, sea trade range, I could backfill for a bit of cheaper tech. We are still in the Renaissance, so I think we just fill out on Renaissance techs while they're cheap. They could theoretically get cheaper, but you know. We're gonna buy the shipyard plus four production, as well as a huge production boost for the city. That's up to 25 production now. This city can place a whole bunch of fun things. Mostly though, I'm concerned about getting the waterfront built. I will place the water park. That seems like a fun thing to build. This is definitely a seaside resource. If I get rid of this industrial zone and instead I place a lumber mill here, this actually enables at least one more seaside resort. If I delete this, and I put a lumber mill here, enables another seaside resort. You know what? Maybe we'll pivot to tourism. I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of fooling around right now. I'm not too fussed about how I win. I'm just kind of screwing. Just like me and your mom do. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Uh, we'll shoot this guy and then we'll coastally raid. That'll get us a little bit of cash as well as another knight. Still have two envoys to play with. I don't want to send them yet. I want to see what people do with Kumasi. Right. Caraval, dead. Your mom, alive. Builder, where's Builder going? Builder, sent. First artifact extracted lovely this one is from me we'll need to extract a few more if we actually want to win a tourism game how are we feeling about that i mean nobody's making an insane amount of culture so it is a viable direction to pivot our empire but there's nationalism looking good there we got the aqueduct in visu which means the coal power plant fueled industrial zone here is looking pretty darn good we could get the waterfront i think it'd be good to build that Perhaps it would be better if we built a theater square. This could definitely be a seaside resort over here, which means this could be a lumber mill. Or maybe this could be a theater square. This could be a water park. I'll quickly get a builder so I can do that chop. All right, what's the appeal like in here? I think I'm going to cut out industrial zones. And honestly, the appeal here is so good that I, I feel like I'd be a little bit insane. I think I'll pop a forest right there and then a couple of more seaside resorts. Let's grab the breakwater in here for the extra food. The extra growth will be nice. I guess I'm going to take grants on Pingala because extra great people points. It just seems like pretty reasonable. It just seems like a good bonus that I don't really have to think too much about. It just is a bonus. All right, we're starting to lay down forests. Let's buy a naturalist. We'll buy this tile. We'll swap this tile. And then I think that, yeah, so he should be able to fit that one in there. In terms of tile purchasing, I want to buy these two and get another naturalist. Maybe buy these two as well. Can I get them to fit? There we go. Perfect. Can I squeeze out another one? Okay, three national parks coming up right away. That should be a huge boost to our amenities, particularly in our capital zone. All right, what's the appeal like here? I guess I could cut this quarry. I will. I'm going to blast that quarry out. Should give me a little bit more appeal. See what we can do there. You know what? I think these hills would be better off as lumber mills. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go rebuild them. It does always suck when you have to like redo land that you already paid for. But the hope is that your economy is so powerful, but it, that it doesn't matter, right? Because you can actually just absorb the cost of, of, of changing a few tiles around like very easily. And I'm pretty sure our economy is at the point now where we can do that. And it's trivial. Claim a great person. Horatio Nelson is available. He will instantly build a lighthouse and shipyard in one of our cities. We are going to want to plant him somewhere. We did get the arsenal in the capital. I do think Grandmaster's Chapel is kind of fun here, but I'm going to go for the intelligence agency. I will grab the warehouse and dry dock this game, but I'm not sure exactly when. We can also get the Venetian Arsenal and it would be fun to get a bunch of wonders in here. So I'll grab the intelligence agency, I'll grab the warehouse, then the intelligence agency, then I'll probably grab the dry dock and then I'll probably grab Venetian Arsenal, maybe pump out a few boats out of here. We got the breakwater in Porto. Let's quickly grab the boardwalk. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start the boardwalk, I'll harvest it out, that'll shave two turns off and then we can start thinking about the adjacency in here. We do have the amphitheater, let's go ahead and purchase. We can buy ourselves a couple luxuries, which I like. I would much prefer to purchase a couple of great works of writing though and these are relatively cheap as well so that will fill out this right here um, let's get another archaeological museum in fact i could go ahead and purchase the archaeological museum and the archaeologist and then instead get to work on a navigation school and honestly that appeals to me a lot more i'm hoping no more builders are really coming i've got a builder here there's a few builders that are looking to finish. I want Horatio Nelson in a city that has not yet built its harbor. And I think this city right here is the place to plonk him because the second that that city is finished, he'll be able to basically cash inject a bunch of money into it. I would also love to buy settlers over here for this island. That would be very exciting. I also want a privateer. I'll take you and I want you to come up here to help me clear and protect this island because it'd be nice to get a couple of settlements on it. There are some fun luxuries up there. Any buyers of my wares? Nobody needs dyes, but I can sell them. First naturalist is coming into place. Second naturalist is coming into place. Harvest here. There's a national park. Love it. There's a national park. Love it. And we just need to get one more down over here. And we will have a ton of amenities, bringing our cities up to a higher level of happiness. Drop the forest here. How far are we? We're actually not that far from radio and our science is pretty damn good. So we can make radio happen pretty soon. Crystal Red and Tor, if we're going to be going for seaside resorts, is probably pretty important. So we're going to go ahead and unlock that. I kind of don't really know. I think I could kind of go for, I can, I can kind of meander my way towards like science or a culture victory right here. I think we can just chill. I don't think we, I don't think we're in like a rush. Let's get another national park right there plus three era score you love to see that i will quickly squeak out a spy we're low on spies honestly we've been neglecting our spies and we still don't have full full trade routes we are slowly getting there though waterfront is in here let's take the breakwater 
any coal purchasers on the market there are and then i guess i'll build the boardwalk in here just to, to help the city out a little so waterfront is completed we have the harbor harbor's receiving a plus one the city's been six thousand million tower of pizza mm, ooh. okay leaning tower of pizza is like pretty powerful could go for the kilwa do i have a better city to try to build the kilwa in Seven turns to my capital where my spaceport goes. I think I'll skip. I will get the Kilwa here though in this year instead of a spy. Kilwa's a great one to pick up if you can. We did find Mitla and I think Mitla might be a city state we want to start building a relationship with. So I'll put a single envoy in there. I'll start getting us a little bit of science. Activate artifact, choose artifact. Boom, Zhao the third. What do we got here? Renaissance era. Ooh, explore. He gets bonus for each woods here or adjacent. Very cool. Navigation school has been completed in Avora, getting us that plus one science for every two coast or lake tiles in the city. So, I mean, our science is starting to boost up. So we've got the waterfront, we've got the harbor, we've got the campus. We could grab like a cute little theater square here. I don't think there's a reason not to. Just basically store a few more great works, build up our ability to get tourism. I mean, if we check the tourism screen, we can start to do a trade flip here. I do have a mission for Brussels and Cardiff, which I will fulfill with my trade route, but I think the rest of my trade routes, I might actually just send those to other players to activate the trade route bonuses. Like I need a trade route with Ethiopia, for example. So if I just come in here and I filter this by Ethiopia here, boom. Now I'm trading with Ethiopia, boom. And now we've got a 25% tourism boost to them. So I'm earning a little bit more tourism against them. I'll get a little bit more out of it. What did I win my last game by? I think I won my last game through tourism. So I'm actually not going to lean as hard into tourism as I did. I'm going to lean more into science. I'll be a science guy. So let's lean wholeheartedly into science. Boom. All right, nice. Waterfront is completed over here in Braga. I will grab it because, well, it does give me tourism. I don't care too much about the tourism. I we're just exploring here, right? We can get Charles Darwin. I am curious. Is there's, there's no great overview for great explorers, but I can filter here. Science and gold, science, 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 science. So it looks like great explorers are look pretty science related. Science and gold related. We had Vasco da Gama, we had Bungaree, Sacagawea, Carl Linnaeus, John Cazell. We did get the navigation school here in Sanaa. What's most likely to push me towards a victory here? I think it's probably going to be getting another builder. The reason being that builders can be used to improve my territory, improve my tiles, increase my production. The higher my production is, the better I can be. Capital cities up to 100 production, which is honestly kind of pushing in the direction of being a very respectable spaceport city. And we do have the room for the spaceport as long as a strategic resource never appears there. If a strategic resource appears there, I will be a sad bear. I will be a very, very, very sad bear. Excavate that artifact. I will take a barbarian artifact and I'm going to put a lumber mill right there. I'll put some lumber mills down. A lot of my food comes from the water, so I don't actually need farms this game. We definitely want to make sure we hold on to Kumasi. I really don't want to lose them. I'm just going to take a small boost of science here. I don't really care about optimizing this. In theory, I could get a nine tile or a, or a seven tile one, which would be seven times 150, which it just, it just takes up too much time, too much micro. I don't care that much. To be honest with you, it doesn't seem important enough. It doesn't seem important enough for me to put the amount of effort that it deserves. Simon Bolivar has captured a city. I'm going to put forward the military emergency, not because I particularly care, but because, you know, if they all declare war on each other, that, that, that just can only be good for me. The best government for a science victory is either democracy or communism. And I think right now democracy is actually better for me because this one leans so heavily on trade routes and purchases with gold, which kind of fits in my direction. Otherwise, I would genuinely consider communism as an option here because of that 10% science bonus and the production per citizen, particularly because I have a relatively large city here, right? That's 12 production right there. We will take Jacob Fugger, whose name never fails to make me laugh. <laughs> Fugger. <laughs> uh, his name is Fugger. All right, we're going to trade with Cattle Hoyuk. We have the intelligence agency. Let's grab our next spy. I think I want to steal cash. So whoever has a commercial hub is honestly just the best one. Stealing money is the most effective mission. It has the highest impact on the game as far as I'm concerned. And you will never change my mind on that. Or rather, the, the level of evidence you would need to demonstrate to me that something else is better is very, very high based on a few thousand hours of playing this game. Okay, so what's the best way for Porto to help me win the science victory? I think it is just to, to focus on science. Okay, 
Boardwalk and Porto, Boardwalk and Porto, what do I do next? Well, I think in service of a science victory, there can be things that you get in the water park, if I recall correctly. I think the aquarium gives you science. Um, so I tell you what, let's just grab a water park right, right there. Nice little water park right there. In Guardia, we did get the break water. Let's grab the boardwalk and then probably work on the campus in here for a little bit of science. Could, in theory, promote these guys. We also need to think about, do we want to actually make use of first mate? And I think we do. Who do we want to use it on? Oh my god, Seabond Bolivar's whole empire is like wide open for pillaging. I'm trying to remember, what the hell do privateers upgrade into? It better not be submarines. Bruh. So I'll tell you what, quickly in here... Let's grab the dry dock and then we'll spam out whatever they're called. Where are they? Privateers. Spam out privateers. I'm going to plug in the card that gives us, there we go, press gangs. So we'll be able to crap out privateers and just send them all over the world to pillage people. I think that's going to be a fun way to play. Drop a forest right there for a little bit more things. We can delete these pins. I kind of love the process of like planning out an empire and then like deleting all the pins that I placed. Do you know what it is? It's like having a to-do list. It's like having a to-do list that you actually clear. Although that's completely unrelatable for me because I don't think I've actually ever cleared a fucking to-do to list ever in my life. I don't even think I've even approached clearing a to-do list. But there is a simple satisfaction in creating a plan and executing it, right? And that's what, that's what Civ is all about. That's what games, strategy games in particular, are all about. Oh my god, I don't believe I did it again. Okay, I've got 17 cities, so let's pick 17 random names. I actually, I might be working off an old list. I need to double check with the guy I have who like, let's get old Stony Baloney in on this bad boy. Adam C. Fultzer, Drove Jahar, Pete Brenhofer, Periapatos 14, and for Fernie, Orion Henry, Mayorn, Wesley Clausen, and I think that was all of the cities renamed. Now it is possible that I may have Overly pulled, but Sam Freyheide, that's a name that always shows up. And Nubel, oh my god, I remember Nubel. Wait, I remember the name Nubel? I gotta give Nubel a city. Hold on! I used to play MMOs with Nubel. This right here will be the Nubel city. Sorry, Nubel, you're getting kind of a shit city. Listen, you're getting a city. Sam, Sam Freyheide, you like get a city every series, okay? You're, you're not getting one this time, okay? I'm vetoing your name. I remembered you, I'm, I'm denying you a city on a technicality. Which is that you've had enough cities picked to where I remember your name. Um, yeah. But hey, if you want to get your name in on the list of Patreons, head over to patreon.com forward slash whiskey, sign up, get your name in the list. I love you all very much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.